Hello everybody and welcome back to my final presentation as a Flatiron student. This is Flatiron Medical, my capstone project. It was developed in the last three weeks of our program and I used HTML, CSS, React, Redux, and Ruby on Rails to build this application. It is a hospital website with a portal feature for both doctors and patients. So on the home page, we have just the home page of the hospital with some information about it. We have the carousel right here, some images, just some quick information about different parts of the hospital. And down below, we also have our footer with links to various pages. Up top, we also have our nav bar. We can click on the Our Team, which brings us to the Departments page. And if we click on a department, this brings us to the profile. Over here, we have our doctors, which I used a faker gem for um, Lord of the Rings characters. Click on what one doctor, brings us to the doctor's profile, which just some quick information about them, their name, degree, a quote, and some contact information, which also uses a faker gem. We can also learn more about the hospital by going to the About Us, which gives um, information about the mission, the vision, the values, and the purpose. We also have our login and sign up. We can log in as a doctor, as a patient, or we can sign up as a new patient. Just to show you some features about the sign up page, we have some validations to make sure all this information was filled out. We also have some validations to make sure that the age is above 18 and that this is a uh, unique email. So if we try to use that, we just got emails already been taken and age must be greater than or equal to 18. But we can also go ahead and just log in as a doctor. So if we log in as Patch Adams, If you saw above in the nav bar, we now have access to our portal. We click on the portal, this brings us to this doctor's portal, which we can explore our patients and the calendar. Go into our patients, this brings us a list of all the patients that we have. And we can find out some more information about each patient by looking at their previous appointments, which gives us a date, the procedure, the room, and the notes about it. These were all obviously used during using faker gems as well with movies, Lord of the Rings locations, and Lord of the Rings uh, poems. We can search for various patients as well. But let's go over to the calendar page, which shows us the calendar of all of our appointments. We have a month view. We also have a week view. and a day view. Going back to the month view, we can also update an appointment. So say for this appointment, we click on it and we say Bilbo called in, he needs to reschedule to Monday morning. So we can go ahead and reschedule him for, let's just say 9 a.m. And this will be a few hours long, so we'll book him from 9 to about 11.30. We can go ahead and save that, and that will move over there. And we can also delete. So if this patient came in, and this is Shelob, Shelob, we can go ahead and delete that. And lastly, we can go ahead and add an appointment. So say I had an appointment earlier this month, we need a follow-up now. We can go ahead, oops, and add a follow-up appointment. And we will do a little mid-morning appointment. And since it's just a follow-up, we'll just schedule for about 30 minutes. And I can assign this to Ben and say um, for this appointment, we want Ben to bring in glasses. So we'll just say 
spring glasses. We'll go ahead and save that and that will be added to our calendar. And if I log out as Patch Adams, I can now log in as myself. So I'll go ahead and log in. And now I have access to my portal. And I could go to my appointments and now that appointment is available to me and I can see the notes that the doctor left for me, which is bring glasses. It is also available on my calendar. And I also have lab results on this portal. So if I took blood tests, I now have access to those tests so I can keep track of all this information. And that is my capstone project. Thank you all for watching again. Hope you all enjoyed this project and all the previous ones.